Hello, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. On behalf of my wonderful wife and myself, we most warmly welcome you to the Eagle Hour, a program for those who have rugged determination to succeed, rugged determination to be the best and be the best. So get yourself ready to be refreshed, to be inspired, to be motivated as you join this program. And don't forget to take part in the book quiz. Readers are leaders. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The morning of your life is the best time to build a fortress for your success. success. And soar just like the eagle. Soar like the eagle. Join us today for insights, insights. anointing, anointing. Secrets. secrets, and the word that will awaken the giant in you and make you a pace setter. It's time to bid the best and be the best. The Eagle Hour with your host, Dr. DK Olukoya. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Olukoya. You are most warmly welcome to the Eagle Hour. A program for those who have rugged determination to beat the best and be the best. A program for those who are willing to learn the ancient secrets of success. A program for those who have a rugged determination to succeed. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Bow down your heads and let us pray. Father, we thank you for your name which is great. Father, we thank you for your power which is the absolute power. Father, we thank you for the mightiness of the name of the Lord and for your name which is above all names. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon your children and anoint them by the mighty power of God. Do great, marvelous, mighty, and wondrous things. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining the Eagle Hour. Today, we're going to look at avoiding emotional entanglement. Avoiding emotional entanglement. As a believer, God wants you to always look before you leap. God wants you to be very careful. God wants you to be very cautious. That is, you should always consider the possible consequences or danger of your action before you act at all. Not looking before you leap has caused so much sorrow for plenty of young people. Prevention, they say, is better and cheaper than cure. And it has been well said that it is better to be careful than to be sorry. Emotional entanglements hurts. Therefore, you should avoid it. This is why Proverbs chapter 5 verse 22 affirms that a wicked man will be entangled in the ropes of his own sin. In Proverbs chapter 5 verse 22, Proverbs chapter 5 verse 22, it reads, His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holding with the curds of his sin. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. What do we mean by emotional entanglement? Emotional entanglement is the feeling where the mind can't decide what it wants, or where it wants to go. The mind also cannot decide where it wants just too much. Emotional entanglement is the feeling of being stuck that leaves one feeling like one is trapped. Emotional entanglement is a difficult situation or relationship that is hard to escape from. Emotional entanglement is a complicated or difficult relationship or situation. Emotional entanglement is when the true self wants to express something that the false self 
doesn't want you to express. Emotional entanglement is a very dicey situation, a very difficult situation. There are danger signs of emotional, and it's important for you to learn and avoid the dangers of emotional entanglement. The first step to achieving this is to learn the danger sign of emotional entanglement. I will tell you some of them. False assumptions about yourself or others. Mind your own business mentality. Justify yourself that you are only human or one or both of you are emotionally immature. These are dangers of emotional entanglement. Communication breakdowns. The two persons who are emotionally entangled only have desire for sex, for petting, and so on and so forth. Always getting angry is another danger. One of them is now victimizing the other. Another danger. They know the truth, but they ignore it. It's another danger. In the relationship, there's a lot of conflict and power struggles. Another danger. More negative feelings than positive about relationship. Another danger. No feeling of safety with each other. Another danger. You must disentangle yourself from every dark emotional entanglement that can completely ruin your destiny, ruin your academics, ruin your mind, ruin your progress, ruin your promotion. Having established the facts that emotional entanglement is harmful, you need to know how to avoid it. I'm going to give some helpful hints on how you can avoid this. Number one, remove bitterness from your heart. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. Ephesians 4, 31. Ephesians 4, 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Two, work on forgiving others. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And verse 14, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. Three, take adequate steps to lift the gloom from your heart. Lift the gloom from your heart. Don't let the spirit of heaviness overshadow you to the level of paralyzing you spiritually, emotionally, and physically. You must take steps to leave the gloom from your heart. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 10, Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh for childhood and youth are vanity. For remove murmurings from your lips. Remove murmurings from your lips. In the book of Philippians, chapter 2, Philippians 2, from verse 13. Philippians 2, 13. For it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do his good pleasure. 
do all things without murmuring and disputing that he may be blameless and harmless the sons of God will all book in the midst of crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as light of the world holding for the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run in vain neither labored in vain remove mumblings from their lips erase stubbornness from your heart erase stubbornness from your heart the Lord hates stubbornness erase it from your heart don't let it take over your spirit don't let it take over your soul this is a very very serious matter and I want you to take it to heart as you are listening to what I'm telling you now don't be stubborn listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and move the way God wants you to move six stop being afraid stop fear at the gate of your mind don't let fear cage you stop being afraid Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8 and the Lord he it is that doeth good before thee he will be with thee he will not fail thee neither forsake thee fear not neither be dismayed seven Submit negative thinking to the Lord and think on good things. Submit negative thinking and think on good things. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, the Bible says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely. Whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Submit negative thinking and think on good things. Number eight, no more slandering. Don't get involved in slander. Not at all. No more slandering. Don't get involved in slander. The Bible says, speak not evil one of another brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. And now be entangled with Christ. Be entangled with Christ. Be entangled with Christ. Acts of Apostles, chapter 17, verse 28, tells us, For in him we live and move and have our being. As certain also of your poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Acts chapter 17, verse 28 affirms that a genuine believer should live move and have his being in Christ. Beloved, you should not get involved in emotional entanglements that will later regret. But you should be entangled with Christ in genuine love. There is a way you can achieve that. How you can entangle yourself with Christ. Trust him with all your heart. Trust the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart. As written in Proverbs chapter 3, 5 to 8. Proverbs 3, 5 to 8. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. So trust him with all your heart. Love the Lord 
with all your heart. Love him with all your heart. The Bible says, Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Number three, have faith in God, believe he is real, know that he will reward those who seek him. As written in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, Hebrews 11, verse 1, said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things we shall seen were not made of things which do appear. And in verse 6 it goes on to say, But without faith it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that is a reward of them that diligently seek. Also, listen to God. Form a habit of listening to God. Form a habit of learning from God. Form a habit of exalting the name of the Lord in whatever you do. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, And seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. Then be crucified with him. Galatians 2.20 Galatians 2.20 Be crucified with him. It's written, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I live, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me be crucified with Christ. Love Christ above everyone else. You must not be ashamed of ministering to others or witnessing to others. Talk about Christ to others. Be devoted only to Christ. Beloved, I counsel you to avoid worldly and unprofitable emotional entanglements which may later result in tragedy, war, distress. Rather, seek to be entangled with Christ Jesus. God bless you abundantly. Amen. In case you are listening to me and you are not born again, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. By say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that short prayer with me, I congratulate you. Thank you for surrendering your life to Jesus in this program. The Lord will continue to uphold you and follow all our instructions. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this program. As they pray these prayers, Give them uncommon breakthroughs. Give them uncommon testimonies. To you, Father, be the glory. It is time to pray now. Say, my Father, my Father, my Father, arise for my sake and defend your interests in my life. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, my Father, arise for my sake and defend your interests in my life. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, my Father, arise for my sake and defend your interests in my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every and rising of the wicked upon my forehead be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of the wicked upon my forehead be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of the wicked upon my forehead be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of the wicked upon my forehead be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Opportunity wasters. Sir. My life is not your candidate. 
die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. My life is not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. My life is not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. My life is not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Opportunity wasters. My life is not a candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So everywhere I go, oh Lord. Let your glory overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, O oh Lord, let your glory overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, O oh Lord, let your glory overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, O oh Lord, let your glory overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, O oh Lord, let your glory overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, O oh Lord, let your glory overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, O oh Lord, let your glory overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Arrows fired against the work of my hands. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against the works of my hand. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against the works of my hand. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against the works of my hand. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say my glory and the lift of my head. Father, raise me up in the name of Jesus. My glory and the lift of my head, my Father. Raise me up in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I shall arise and shine. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall arise and shine by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall arise and shine by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall arise and shine by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining the Eagle Hour. We'll see you again next time by the grace of God. Remember, if the enemy has stolen from you, recovery is by force. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let us share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 I believe that you've been blessed by this insightful teaching brought to you by our host, Dr. D.K. Olukoya. Join us same time next week for another episode of the Eagle Hour. But as you count the days, get any of these books, edify your spirit man, and tap into more secrets. Praying in the storm. Praying to destroy satanic roadblocks. Raid in the house of the strong man. Reject leftovers. Visit www.mfmintbookshop.com to get a book now. If you gave your life to Christ through this program, kindly get in touch with us with the details on the screen. And to be abreast of the Eagle Hour program, quiz, and every other, like us on Facebook at MFM Eagle Hour and follow us on Instagram at MFM Eagle Hour. Come be a part of the MFM International Headquarters social media family by liking us on Facebook, following us on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and click the notification bell. To be fully abreast of our programs, go follow, like, and subscribe now. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. 
October 22nd, 2022, there will be a gathering of evangelists at the Mountain of Fire Human Miracles Ministries International Headquarters Grace Hall, Lagos, Nigeria, 9 a.m. prompt. As the Evangelism Ministry of the Mountain of Fire Human Miracles Ministries Annual National Congress and NECO 2022 holds theme, soul winning assignments and signs of the end time. This one day Evangelism Congress will feature very impactful and soul enriching teachings that will empower evangelists for the missions ahead. It will also be available in our social media platforms live. The Evangelism Ministry of the Mountain of Fire Human Miracles Ministries Annual National Congress Congress and NECO, soul winning assignments and signs of the end time. Winning the world for Jesus Christ, you are invited. Make sure you connect. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Praying in the storm, praying to destroy satanic roadblocks, raid in the house of the strong man. Reject leftovers. These are the books for the Eagle Owl Quiz for the month of October. Get any of these books from www.mfmincbookshop.com or any bookshop near you. Study and win cash prizes from 50,000 Naira and more. Quiz party will open 6th of November 2022 at 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. for the October Quiz Exercise at www.mfmeaglehour.com. Remember, readers are leaders. The Eagle Hour Book Quiz. Bid the best and be the best. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. There are times when the heavens stop to attend to men. And that is when your time has come. Don't be afraid. Log on to your Facebook 15, 16, 17th of October 2022 and be a part of the October Facebook Mid Month Outreach live with Dr. DK Olukoya. Tagged, my case is different. different. There is nothing impossible or too difficult for God to do. Let the glory begin. Clock, clock, clock in. 11 p.m. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. W.A.T. Jesus! Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Gen 20 Singles Program Marital Congratulation October Edition is slated for 29th of October 2022. Theme Prophetic Praise that will bring marital fulfillment. Dr. D.K. Olugoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering. 0800 WAT. This program will be made available on all Gen 20 social media handles Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. The October Edition of the Gen 20 marital congratulation, prophetic praise that will bring marital fulfillment. Don't miss this yoke breaking program for anything. Come with your testimony journal and write down your prayer request. Jesus is Lord. Free buses will be made available at these locations. Surely the Lord is here.
The future is always bright if you are an alumni of a great university by exploring academics like never before with over 30 accredited programs to choose from in an environment that notches you spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially. Come on board the 2022-2023 academic session if you are eligible with a minimum of five credits at all level with English language and mathematics compulsory. WAG and NECO equivalents are acceptable. Your UTME must meet the requirements for the year. The journey to your academic glory is in three categories. One, the pre-degree program. This is a preparation program. Two, foundation program. This is a direct entry program. Three, degree program. Postgraduate programs are available and special scholarship available for fine and applied art. Log on to www.m2u.edu.ng for more information. Mountaintop University. Empowered to excel. It's the Prophetic Fire Conference 2022 of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries Prophetic Ministry. Theme, the Prophet as a Deliverer. A two-day conference that will bring divine resolutions. 7th of October and 8th of October. Saturday, 7th of October, 9 a.m. will feature prophetic ministrations, prophetic deliverance and impartation, equipping end-time prophets of our generation generation and charting a prophetic destiny for our land and 8th of October 9 a.m. Fire Conference Dr. D.K. Olukoya the General Overseer Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries will be ministering live. Don't miss the Prophetic Fire Conference 2022 of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries Prophetic Ministry. The Prophet as a Deliverer. This event will hold at the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries Grace Auditorium International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. Be a part and be blessed. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here.